Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the wait is over. I am Jay Jordan and Cosmo Vision, and I am with the beautiful teen chef, Shyla Chef. How you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Listen, I am ecstatic. I am here in Atlanta with you, and you're about to prepare something very healthy and delicious for myself and also teach young kids at home with the, how to prepare it as well, right? Right. Cool. You're a vegan, correct? Yes. Wow, how long have you been a vegan? I've been vegan all my life. So that means you never had chicken before? No. Oh my God, you don't know what you're missing, Sha. <laughs> you think you're missing much? Not really. But you have a lot of energy, though, being the fact that you're a vegan, right? Yes. So you're not missing much at all. All right? Well, let's get it started. Let's get it started. What is the first thing we do before we prepare a meal in the kitchen? Wash our hands. Let's make it we count. We have to wash our hands. Let's make it count. So, what is it that you're going to be preparing for us today? Okay, so we're going to be making the best vegan macaroni and cheese. The best. Is that right? The best. Now, are we using sharp cheddar cheese, which I like? Pardon me, extra sharp cheddar cheese, which I like in my macaroni and cheese? No, we are going to be using vegan cheese made out of plant-based foods like almonds and almond milk and just mm. plant-based. Mm. Okay, okay. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait to see how this comes out and how this tastes because I've been watching you on your Instagram. I've seen you prepare this in the past. So I had to fly in just to taste it myself. Are you it's ready? It's worth it. It's worth it? Yes. Let's create this magic. So talk to us. What do we have to do? So first we're going to come over here and put our elbow macaroni in here. What kind of elbow macaroni are we using? We're using whole wheat whole because wheat. it's better for you than unbleached. Okay. Then bleach flour. Gotcha. So we're just going to put it in the boiling water. That should be good. Now, I know most people put salt in their water when boiling their water. Do you use regular salt or? I use Himalayan pink salt. Why is that? Because it has more minerals than sea salt. More minerals, the better. Nice. So we're just going to let that boil for about five to seven minutes. Okay. And then after that, we're going to do some great stuff. Let's make it count. Now, what stage are we in this vegan mac and cheese? Now we're going to put our macaroni in, our elbow macaroni. Let's do it. All right, so we have our elbow noodles. And now we're just going to put it in the pan. Just like so. so. Okay. And we are going to put our Earth Balance. It's vegan butter. Is this substitute for olive oil? It's a substitute for butter. Just okay. regular butter. And this is going to make sure the macaroni and cheese does not stick and it'll have a little flavor. Nice. So we're just going to get a little bit. I mean, cut it in pieces like that. And then I mix it, how my mom mixes it. She kind of like folds it. Mm -hmm. So when she folds it, the butter will melt. Gotcha. Because the noodles are still hot. Yes. At what age did you fall in love with the kitchen? At six years old. Six years old? Yeah. How did that happen? Well, I had a little rough start at home. Okay. And. I used to think my brothers were better than me. I used to throw things at my mom, and I wasn't nice. Oh, you was the problem child. Problem child. Like most and kids that are watching. <laughs> as you were, but as you were. So, I never felt loved, and my mom and dad tried everything to make me feel loved. But I started going into my own world, and I couldn't use the stove. So I started using different things like organic cereals and fruit and making something delicious. And I would always go to my mom, here, taste this. She would always be like, mm, it tastes great, but she'll never taste it. You know how they like put it yes, in the side yes, of their yes, mouth? Yes, yes, And then one day my uncle tasted my food and he was like, that's good. 
It was really good. And I saw my mom and dad supporting me by buying me ingredients. And I felt loved and I haven't stopped cooking since. Wow, that's crazy. So being the fact that you are a chef in the house, do you do most of the cooking or do your mom takes a break most of the time? I think I do most of the time. <laughs> so what does Thanksgiving look like? Thanksgiving, me and my mom both cook together. It's kind of like a tradition. Okay. It's so fun, especially cooking at night. Yeah. So now we're just going to cut our medium cheese since you love sharp Listen, cheese. Listen, I love me some extra sharp cheddar cheese. Extra sharp. Now why is this um, more healthier than extra sharp? Because regular sharp is dairy. It has dairy, but this one's non-dairy and all plant-based. And you're a vegan? Yes. Gotcha. So we're just going to cut it into little squares, just like so. Wow, who taught you how to cut like that? Well, I think I taught myself, but then I have some trainers. Okay. I have the celebrity chef, Chef Chuane from Cafe Sunflower. Get out of here. What? Wow. Amazing. And Chef Byron from Justin's. Who's I your think favorite chef? My so favorite chef. I have so many. I think Chef David Chang. Okay. He's an Asian chef. What does he specialize in? Um, he does a lot of Asian and Korean cooking. Yeah, he's cool. Nice. So let me ask you a question. What are your goals and aspirations of being a chef? Well, I want to open up my own restaurant. Okay. In Atlanta, Italy, and Paris. And what would you specialize in? Vegan food, of course. Okay. And I want to make it nice and fancy. And I want everyone to tell everybody else about it. And I want them to be in love with my restaurant. It's going to be so cool. Nice, nice. So, almost done. This should be good. Wow, look how you're, you're cutting gonna... that. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, sheesh. It's just a little something That's I pull up my nice. sleeve. And you're cutting without looking at the knife and everything. Oh my God, you don't yeah. want to cut them pretty fingers off. Oh, you fancy, huh? <laughs> so we're just going to put this inside the macaroni and cheese. Now, if you had to cook for anyone in the world, I mean anyone, who would you like to cook for? I would like to cook for Gordon Ramsay. Tell him. Gordon Ramsay, I'm going to cook for you. <laughs> And if you had to prepare a dish, what dish would you prepare? I would prepare my vegetarian pomegranate chicken with jasmine rice and asparagus. Wow, that sounds delicious. It is. Yeah. Now, what age did your mom uh, feel comfortable with you being in the kitchen alone? I think eight or nine years old. She felt comfortable with eight or nine years old? Why? What gave her the green light to allow you just to maneuver your way through the kitchen without her assistance? Well, she just realized that this was my gift, and she wanted to push me. And I started my own show, my DVD curriculum. Which is very good, by the way. Thank you. Why don't you give a plug? What's the name of it? It's called Snack It Up School DVD Curriculum. And you're an author as well. Yes. Yes, what's the name of your book? My cookbook is called Snack It Up Cookbook with Shy. It has a lot of fun and healthy recipes, fun facts about the ingredients, and it has a lot of positive thoughts puzzles, so you can feel good about yourself. Nice, nice. So what's next here? Well, we're just going to fold this and get some elbow grease in it. Get okay. it? Because we're using elbow macaroni. All right, all right. Put your elbows into it. And we're going to be using vegan sour cream. And you can make your own vegan sour cream out of cashews or almonds. This you're really is all big on nut based. Yes. Okay. But if you're allergic to that, you can use soy milk too or tofu. And this is just going to make it nice and creamy. Because everybody likes macaroni and cheese that's like nice and creamy on the inside yes. and on the outside it's nice I and do. crispy. Okay, so what's next? We are going to put our seasonings. So we have 
dried parsley. Just going to put a little in there. This is going to give a lot of flavor. Because, you know, when it comes to food... It's gotta taste good. Yes. You don't want it bland, right? Right. And we're going to add some onion powder and garlic powder. Oh, God. Got some garlic in there. <laughs> and some Spanish smoked paprika. I love mm, paprika. A little, a little pop, right? Yes. And a little color. My mouth is watering already, Shy. It should be. Oh, my God. When I'm cooking, my secret ingredient, my secret ingredient, then I'm going to tell everybody now, is love. Well, I'm I, feeling. I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what separates you from any other chef? Well, I cook with all natural vegan foods. And when people think of healthy, the first thing that comes to their mind it's like cardboard or just vegetables and lentils and things like that. You can actually make really good food when it's plant-based. So when I make it, it's healthy, it's fun, and it's absolutely amazing. Nice. So what is next? So next we're going to add our Daya Shreds. This is cheddar, okay. as you like it. Appreciate you. And we're just going to put just a little bit because we already have our blocks in there. So now we're just going to mix this, you know, make it really cheesy. Yes, I love it cheesy. I know. You, know, you got to stir it over there. You got to put it all in there. I want all that. I oh, okay. That. Okay. <laughs> just going to fold it. And then next we are going to put our Himalayan pink salt, like I said. Okay. Has a lot, a lot of minerals. A lot of gotcha. minerals. I think I'm gonna incorporate a vegan diet Ooh. when I get back home. <gasps> Cause you, you really motivated, and encouraged me, and I think that's very important. You know, when I interview people, um, it is not just to uh, let you guys speak about yourself and find out about you guys, but I like to be motivated and inspired as well. And you inspiring and motivating me to eat healthy and uh, keep a healthy lifestyle. I'm so happy for you. Come on, this is all about, right? Right. This is all about. We gotta motivate and encourage each other. Absolutely. Thank you, Sha. No problem. Anytime. Oh. Now we're going to put our flax, which has omega-3 and a lot of vitamins, and this is a substitute for eggs. Wow. So you put flax, what's what's in there? What's in there? Flax seed and what else? Black seed and water. and water. And then you have to let it stand for about five minutes. Okay. And it'll have that kind of eggy Yo, texture. That looks very delicious. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. Talk that talk, Sha. Right. What's next? Now we're going to add our almond milk. Okay. Which is my favorite. I love almond milk. But you can use cashew milk, soy milk, hemp milk. What does the milk do? Well, the milk makes it creamy, of course. Okay. Because we all love creamy and yes, we of our do. macaroni and cheese. So, just going to splash that in there. Look at that, look at that. Boom. Nice. Put that in there. Now, Sha, I'm a big fan of breadcrumbs. Oh, right? you came to the right place. Oh, did I? Yes. Why is that? Because I'm making my homemade breadcrumbs for our macaroni and cheese. You making homemade breadcrumbs? Homemade breadcrumbs right on top. So you don't use the box, the, the block cylinder no. uh, breadcrumbs? No? So what do you use? I use whole wheat bread instead of white bread because okay. when they make it, they use bleached flour. And nobody wants that in their bodies. You're really a healthy young lady. Thank you. Well, we're going to make homemade breadcrumbs, and I'm going to add a little bit of seasonings just to give it some flavor. Whoa. So I have. You fancy, huh? I am. <laughs> I have onion powder. Okay. Just a little bit. Garlic powder. All right. Parsley flakes, which I love. Last but not least, smoked Spanish paprika. I love it. 
love, love it. it. Love, love it. Just gonna add some, not too much. You ever thought about doing meal plans for kids? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to start doing meal plans so they can eat about, I'll pack some for about five days a week. Okay. Dang, you're gonna be a busy young lady. I will. But you love the kitchen though. I do. That's do my it, happy place. Yeah, when you do what you love, you know, it comes easy, right? Absolutely. Nice. See, you get me. I get okay. you. I get you, girl. I get you. Yes, now we're going to add just a pinch of Himalayan sea salt. What does that do? It has a lot of minerals and it gives the breadcrumbs just a little flavor. Just a little bit. Just, just a little, little bit. Just a little flavor. Right. And now we are going to pulse it. Do you mind? I'm a little hungry. I couldn't wait for this. I'm a little hungry. It's cool. Okay. Right. It's cool. All right. <laughs> so now we're going to pulse it until it's nice and fine. More cheese before we add the breadcrumbs? Absolutely. Would you like to do the honors? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just throw this in there? Yes. How was that? That was cheese. <laughs> but, um, you were a little, just a tad bit, you know. Heavy handed? Yeah. But you ain't say Cosmo, stop, stop. Well, well it is a deep dish. Yeah, it's a deep dish. Oh, so, cool. let it be. It'll work. Yeah. It's vegan. It is yeah, vegan. It is. That's so, what we got going on over here. Now we're doing our breadcrumbs. Yes, the topping. The topping, the this final means This topping. bad boy is almost done. Can I help you with that? Let me hold this. Sure. Okay. You want me to hold this for you? Yes, please. Okay. Just like this. Let's make it work. Let's make it work. All right. Would you like to help? Yes. I'm trying not to be heavy handed with the breadcrumbs. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So I'm just sprinkling on top. Heavy handed. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay. The corners, right? Okay, the corners. Right Sorry, here. Sorry to make a little mess because we're going to clean it up, right? Oh, that's okay. Okay. It happens. Oh, my goodness, Sha. This looks absolutely delicious. Oh, Doesn't my it? gosh. Look oh. at this. I'll take this whole just like this. Oh, man. but it's not done yet. You're right. You're right. You're right. Patience, Jay. Patience. Right. Patience. All right. All Patience. right. So, what's next? What do you got going on here? Well, you know. I love when my food looks good and tastes good. Likewise, so you add a little color. Yeah, a little color. A little green in your life. Gonna be a little See heavy handed on that or no? Oh no, when you're heavy. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> but this is light handed, it's chef handed. Look at that color. That looks beautiful. Doesn't it? A little topping because you okay. know this is my baby. Yes. My baby. And so... that is again. Spanish smoked paprika. Gotcha. It's gonna put a little right on top, and that makes every little thing that pop. Looks that looks very good. Very good. Then we're going to add a little olive oil, and it's gonna make it nice and GB and D, golden brown and delicious. Ah, that's what I heard yeah, you say. GB and D, golden brown and delicious. I like that. Thank you. Just gonna. Let me help you out with that. So we gotta hurry this up, cause I'm hungry. Right. Me too. What are you gonna do with that? Would you like to try? Just drizzle it like I'll nice. let you do it, cause I might be a little heavy handed. A little heavy handed? Yes. Okay. Well, this is how you do it. So you get the corners and all that. Alright. Mm. Add a little on top, just like so. And you know you gotta get the corners. You gotta get yes, the corners. yes. So, right here. Right here, right here, and here. Nice. Oven time? Yes, oven time. We're going to bake it 350 degrees, and we're going to let it bake for about 35 or 45 minutes. And we're gonna let the top get crispy. It's gonna be mm. so good. Jibbity. G, B, and D. G, B, and D. <laughs> Golden brown and delicious. <laughs> Golden brown and delicious. Let's make this count. Let's make this count. Mm. I'll open the oven. You bring it. 
Right. Thank you. Oh. Yes. Right. Don't you drop that. No, I'm, I'm not going to drop that. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, I'm never dropping that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. After I finish tasting this, you guys are going to have to go get her cookbook. But, 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 I don't want to rush. I don't want to rush. Please. Would you like some? Come on. I mean, are you serious? I don't. What kind of question is that? Yes, you're right. What kind of question is that? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Do you hear that? Oh, man. Sounds very creamy. All right. Ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, breathe, shot, breathe. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow, that looks delicious. Since, you know, most of it I want to eat too, so. Well, you know, you're going to be kind enough to yeah. eat the first day. Yeah, we'll be right? kind, all right. Okay. Here you go, Cosmo. Yes, yes. I always wanted to do this. I watch a lot of cooking shows and I see you in. They hand the guests the plate mm -hmm. and I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. You know. The moment of truth. Oh my god. You like it? Yo, this is rocking. You're really good. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, this is very delicious, Shy. I, I don't. And it's not even for TV, you guys. This is the truth. You hear me? If you want to learn how to cook, and prepare delicious meals such as this, please, please support. Get Charlotte Chef Cookbook. If you can't get it for yourself, at least get it for your child, your niece, your nephew, a friend, maybe for yourself. But this is very delicious, Shaw. Thank you. Yo, listen, man. Oh my goodness. I'm just so happy me that too. you had me in this wonderful kitchen. You prepared this such delicious mac and cheese. I was about to hug you, but I gotta take one more. And then, you know. Oh my God. Come on, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Be great, Sha. Now let's leave us with a positive affirmation. I am amazingly smart and I'm getting better and better each day. You heard that.